tired, I'll tell you one on one. Like, really, you know, this isn't good enough. Is, is there a particular time when you call someone out in front of the team? <laughs> can't talk about it. <laughs> so, yes, you just don't want to tell us who. There's been a couple, but I, I can't tell you who or when. <laughs> did it work? How did they react? Well, one, it worked extremely well. Another, and then, you know, all the other times, it's just, you know, it's been status quo. You know, Kyle said they'll get better and it won't be like to an all-American level because, you know, it's, you can't really hope for that. But. You've been a part of some bandy teams that got off to a great start of the year, 3-0, and 2-0, 4-0. And, and, like, just this year, you guys played Georgia and LSU in the two out of the first three weeks. Can you talk about what it's going to take to get to another – get off to another great start? It's going to take hard work, you know, preparation, making sure we're ready to go right out of the gate. And I think we put in the work this summer to be able to carry that confidence into the season that we can get, get this uh, – get this work done, you know. And then back on Keyshawn, can you just talk about the impact he's had on you guys the last couple seasons and the offense and what he means to you? Uh, yeah, this past year, it was, it was really good to see him. Uh, I can't remember what his breakout game was, but whenever he really got rolling, it, it was really indicative of, like, of him and the amount of work that he puts into being a good football player. And he's been a guy that's been working with me this whole offseason, like, you know, all the extra stuff, you know, on the jugs and being able to develop himself in the areas that people feel that he's lacking. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, we were sitting in the press box last year talking about you guys in the NFL, and I think we kind of just thought, you going to go to the NFL. Uh, did you at any point last year think it was you know, kind of for sure? I mean, it's surprising, I think, that you decided to come back to outside people. Well, I mean, you know what? The most surprising thing uh, for me personally is the level of maturity that I brought to it. Because for three years, I was literally thinking, if I have one good season, I'm going to the NFL. I, do not, I don't care. It's whatever. Like, I don't care. Whatever. And then when the time actually came, I was able to sit back with a, a good level of maturity thanks to my mom and Coach Mason, you know, and kind of take it all in perspective. Is this really the year that I need to come up? And it was, it was a good decision in the end, I think. And he mentioned a conversation you had with him. How, how did that go? Well, interestingly enough, and I don't know what he said, interestingly enough, he didn't really approve me. It was just, you know, us sitting down and I asked him what he thought, honestly, and he told me, you know, dude, like, you've got what it takes, you can go if you want to. And, and, but, and he said, like, at the end of the day, there'll always be a spot here for you if you decide not to. But, I mean, really, he wasn't approving me. It was really just to do what's best for you, man. And the, he said defensive, some, the defensive guys, though, were like, we want you back, and you kind of, we need your leadership locker room. You mentioned some of the defensive guys, especially, really, came to you. Uh, some of them, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, some of them. It wasn't, it wasn't really, a, I'll, I'll say this, the players actually respected our decisions. I don't know, like, for key, if they were, like, really recruiting hard, but for the most part, it was from a distance, and, you know, hey, what are you going to do? We had not decided yet, okay, cool. And it was back, you know, back off. Let's you know, talk about something else. All the three, all the you guys have done, you did it with Shermer, and you're going to have a new quarterback, you did it with a senior offensive line, you'll have a different offensive line. Is there a concern to you that those parts are getting replaced this year? There is no concern to me because I've seen the level of work that they put in in this offseason, the quarterbacks and the offensive linemen, to be able to come in with a level of consistency during the season and perform, perform on demand like Coach Mason says. And you know, it's just, it's really refreshing to see guys respond to pressure and respond to expectations in a positive way. What kind of teammate is Collegia Lip with some kind of teammate? A uh, great one. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I was telling somebody earlier during the whole decision process and all that for me and Keyshawn, he wasn't really recruiting either, either of us anyway. Like, it was just, because he decided really early, right after the Tennessee game, that he was coming back. But he wanted us to do what was best for us. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. That's really just indicative of what kind of teammate he is. Can, can you explain all your uh, accessories? You got a button, you got a pin, oh. you got a bunch of bracelets. Yeah, this is like a pass catcher pin that uh, Kalaja gave me, which is it's okay. But then this one, the Turner's Heroes yeah. one, is pretty self explanatory. You know, it's a special place in my heart. And I don't really have a David Williams one, but if I did, I'd wear that. How about the bracelet tur on your wrist? Turner's Heroes. And then all the other stuff. Uh, Project Safe on our campus. Set the expectation with Brenda Tracy. Um, church, Anchor Down, Blank, Norcross, my high school, Team Turner, and 
Crimson Dot, sexual assault prevention. I'm a Brookwood guy, by the way. So. Brookwood? Yeah. Watch yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> Any special motivation playing Georgia to start the year in your last year being a Georgia guy? Uh, no motivation. Just, you know, like I said, I treat all 12 games the same. The level of preparation will be the same. It's just the athletes and the talent, I guess, changes who we're playing every week. But I treat it as if I'm playing and read every week. What do you think of the big three? 